Hello and welcome back to video 4. Now, as promised, we are going to change the slider on the front page and we are going to add some awesome plugins. So let's first get started with the uh, slideshow on the front page. Um, basically what you first would do is actually add the images you want to integrate in the slideshow. You can do that by clicking on media and as you can see, media is basically a um, management side of all the medias you've already uploaded. In our case, images, but could also be like you know other types of files. Um, so let's add some new images. We click on Add New, and the cool thing is you could also drop the files from your desktop, but I simply click drag and drop them here in this area but I simply click on select files and I have prepared some where do I have my prepared ones oh yeah the wide ones so you basically should have like some uh, wide angle pictures so they fit like great spaces big screens and stuff like that and you can select them all and just click on open and then you can see that they are uploaded one after another and you see the thumbnail when we are done okay now after you're done you're taking the first image you want to integrate and click on edit and you scroll down and then you see this slider option and where it says add to slider you simply click on it and now it says yes and now it gives you some option and this title description and button is basically uh, the, the middle area that we saw on every slide like with a title a description and a button so for example say this would be our first product this is our awesome product we could uh, you know select colors here title and text color well just make it red for demonstration purpose and the button text just buy it already and then we can actually make it a link for example, we don't have product pages here, but let's say uh, loyalty would be our product page, so we could link to it. And now it says choose a slider. And uh, we want to make a new slider, so just call it new slider. And click on add a slider. And now we have that one. Unfortunately, we have to do that for every single picture, but it is already integrated and it fits nicely. And for just a few pictures, it's not so much of a deal. So again, we click on media. We click on our, our other picture, in my case, Y2. Click on edit. Scroll to the bottom, click on yes here this time I don't know call it service our great service leave the text color as is uh, learn more and link it to efficiency and now we can select the slider because we already created one and we will select new slider and now it's done. You can see uh, we have the first picture we created before and the second one. And uh, if we want to change the order, we simply drag and drop them like we did so many times before. And now we're going to do it for the last one. Again, clicking on media and find white number three. Click on edit. Scroll to the bottom. Yes, 
And this time, let's say, uh, call us for more information. Just call us, and the button text call us, and we we'll link to contact us. And again, we choose to sell a slider, a new slider, and uh, yeah. Make product first, serve second, call us third, and we're done. So we go back to appearance and customize, and then we should see the changes. Oh no, first we have to go to front page and uh, choose our new slider. So here on the slider options, we choose new slider. Now you can see this is our new slider. Click Save and Publish. Now you can see this red is not very nice, so probably you'll take another color. See another slide. Okay. This one is better with the white. So I would basically go back to media and change the color of the other slide. But for time reasons, I'm not going to do that now. So let's say we've done that as we want. Uh, I click close now. And now we're going to install some plugins. Now what are plugins? Basically what the name suggests. Just plugin and play. Or in our case plugin and use. Plugins are little pieces of software other people have made. And uh, they made it so they work in the WordPress style. So you can basically easily install them and you have an interface here so you can uh, click some buttons and type in some numbers and it just works you don't have to know about code and stuff like that you can see there are already uh, some plugins coming pre-installed just a quick walkthrough kismet uh, provides block spam hello dolly is uh, pretty much useless you can read the description here Jetpack is a whole package of uh, features and WP Supercache is to make your WordPress faster. Uh, I basically, uh, and this might be just my experience, I had some problems with that because it gives you a cache version and this might be just because I did not get settings right but it has like, if I go to settings here, uh, you can see it has like a like hundreds hundreds of settings and uh, in an ideal setting it would just give you the files compressed and it loads faster but I noticed when I make changes and changes and changes and try to reload the page it sometimes still gives me the old version and uh, when I de deactivated that plugin it did not happen anymore so maybe it's just my fault and maybe it's just my opinion but I think I rather want my uh, users to have the new content and uh, maybe a little more loading time. So when we go back to plugin, uh, plugins, when you want to deactivate a plugin, you simply click on deactivate. It's as easy as that. Same goes if you want to activate them. They come pre-installed, but not all of them come uh, pre-activated. Uh, I think I'm going to do a whole video about Jetpack because it has so many features so I'm not going to talk about it now and since we are not doing a blog I'm not going to talk about Kismet either. So let us install some new plugins. We do that by click on Add New. And uh, just as uh, with the themes we just type in a plugin name that we like to add. So in our case the first one we add is called add this and then we click on search plugin and you can see add this has many ones but what we want is the smart layer plugin so we click on install now okay and then we add a new one again we type in add this click on search plugin and then the, you scroll down till you see add this welcome bar 
click on install now okay and we add one more for this video we're gonna add a few more in the next videos it's called SIS scroll search plugins and as I scroll to top, install now. Okay. Now we click on install plugins and we're gonna activate all of them. All of the ones we've just installed. So activate this one. Activate this one. And And sometimes when you uh, activate a new plugin, plugin just like Jetpack, you get a new option either here or here. And for and in other cases, like in these ones, you get the options in the settings menu. Settings, at this smart layers. So we click here. And basically, you have a preview of how it looks like. And at this can do a lot of stuff. I only showed you the share feature, which is uh, this bar on the left side. But it also can show you what's next, basically most commonly used when you have black, uh, blog posts and uh, recommended content, also used mostly with blog posts. So uh, maybe this is also worth another tutorial, but just for this one we're going to disable these and just leave on the share button. We can say where we want to display it on the left or the right and we can say how many buttons we want to display. I just leave it at 5. And uh, then you can preview it at tablet and so on but the share, uh, yeah, the share buttons are only available at the desktop version. So then you can choose whether you want the transparent layout, the light one, gray, or dark. But for our uh, theme, I think the transparent one is quite nice. And when we're done, we're clicking on Save Changes. The next thing we're going to do is click on Add This Welcome. And then we click on Activate the Welcome Bar. And uh, now it tells us uh, whom do we want to greet, like all visitors, only visitors from Twitter, and so on. And we can basically give people different messages even, like if they come from Facebook, you could say like, hey, my friend from Facebook, blah, blah, blah. But just, we are now doing it for all visitors. You can type in what kind of message you want to uh, see them. If you enjoy this play, uh, page, do us a favor and share it. Then you can actually say what kind of action you want them to take when we click on the button. So for this case, we choose share and click here to share. Share. And then uh, we can basically change the co uh, color of the background, the message text, button, and so on. But the default is actually quite nice. Uh, the auto dismiss feature is also actually a good idea because, you know, it might get annoying. So after 20 seconds, it will just automatically disappear, or people can press the up arrow and then it also disappears. Um, something I, I should have mentioned um, you have. A profile idea ID here also with the smart layer and if you get uh, at this account you can get like a lot of analysis of like uh, what kind of features the people used and uh, what uh, what this gave you back and how many people came by sharing and stuff like that really useful but also kind of like complex thing and a matter for another video but just so that you note it. Now I click on save 
And last but not least, we go into the scroll up master. And you can basically leave the settings as they are and click save changes. And the scroll up master is basically a little icon where people uh, which is going to appear when people scroll down. But I'm going to show you. So again, we click on appearance and customize. Here we got our social ones. I really don't know why the other one is not showing up. We're going to fix that in a second. So I'm going to scroll down and now you see this little gray up button and when we click it we're going to the top. Um, I'm going to close that and go to the website itself. I'm going to reload that. So now as we can see as I was reloading the page here we are. We have our welcome bar with our uh, message, uh, we can dismiss it, we, we have our share buttons, we have our new slider with our new images and our new call to actions, we have our new featured pages. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you like it. So we basically have already created a complete homepage. Now, in the upcoming videos, I'm just going to show you like more cool content, like for example, how to act add a contact form, how to add an image gallery and uh, like week after week I'm just going to show you a few useful more plugins. So I suggest you stay tuned, please like that video, comment on it and most important always subscribe. Thanks so much for watching these videos, I really appreciate it. I hope you liked it as much as I did making them and I will see you in the next videos. Thank you.